Premier Boxing Champions live on Spike's Friday Night Lights Out from the Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario, California. We open with the welterweights as Sean Showtime Porter took on Eric Bonet. Eric Bonet, a last minute replacement, only 24 hours notice, but he was nobody's stepping stone champ. He came in to fight tonight. Yeah, he showed very well. And again, uh, hats off to Porter, man. He stayed calm, he stayed cool. Even though he took as good as he got tonight, he finished the show. Now, Bonet had his counter-punching moments. Good left hook, yep. good right hand, but what he tried to avoid was a firefight with the bigger, stronger Sean Porter, but in the end, he just couldn't avoid it. Porter moving forward through his punches, getting behind the jab, and in round five, we saw the end, champ. Here's where it began. You know, unfortunately, it began with an injury. I mean, but, uh, you know, I think Porter would have came on eventually. But man, this was a, a, this fight was too close for comfort for Porter until he ended it. Ended it. Mm. An injury and then two knockdowns. He gets a knockout win in round number five. We continue with a fantastic heavyweight bout. Eight rounds of brawling between Chris Ariola and Curtis Harper. The energy from this fight carried the crowd. It carried us all the way through the card. This could have been a highlight at any point. In the first round, Chris Ariola knocked down Harper. We thought this was going to be early over, champ. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I had Harper in camp with me. I know he's tough as nails. Man, he just had to clear the cobwebs. And when those cobwebs got cleared, he got the business. <laughs> I have never hammered a nail in my life as hard as this guy, as strong as this guy, and nails don't hit back. Harder's, Harper was hitting back throughout this fight. Yes, he was. And like I said, this is what we need in boxing. This man came out here, put up just a great display on, win, lose, or draw. We got to see Harper in another fight. Give him time to really prepare and see how good he can be. Chris Ariola, we thought it was even going into the final round like the championship caliber fighter he is. He turned it on when he needed it, took the last round, and as a result, took a unanimous decision win over a very, very game and tough Curtis Harper. And it was a good showing by Ariola, but again, he took a lot of punishment tonight. I mean, when has he ever had an easy fight? We ended the night with the main event, welterweights, Andre the Beast Berto against the Riverside Rocky, Josecito Lopez. From the beginning, Champ, you and I were looking at the footwork, at the feet. How will Berto come out? And he came out flat-footed. Josecito Lopez took advantage in the early rounds, throwing combinations. Berto seemed tight, but then, like you said, he started loosening up. Yes, he did, man. And like I said, I, mean, I wanted to see Berto separate himself from Lopez, like the other champions that Lopez has. And until that de defining moment at the end, that fight was a pick em fight. In fact, I had Berto losing. Now, the deciding moment was this right hand that rocked Josecito Lopez. He goes down on his butt. And now, controversy, oh, yeah. we thought. The second knockdown, take us through it, champ. You know, you're looking at it right here. It barely grazed him on the top of the head. And before the guy even went down, the referee was over and counting. Counting the fight out, not counting, but counting him out. I think that was a little bit unfair, knowing that Lopez have a heart of a champion. What a card for the debut of PBC on Spike. And for the latest PBC news and information, don't forget, it's PremierBoxingChampions.com. On April 24th, two men who battled and overcame cancer step into the ring. When Anthony Durrell and Daniel Jacobs fight live on Spike's Friday Night Lights Out. With Durrell facing Badu Jack and Jacobs battling Caleb Truax. Premier Boxing Champions live April 24th at 9 on Spike.